Want to know what the Gewerbesteuer is and you're not quite sure if you have to pay it? If so, stay tuned, because in this video, I'm going to get to the bottom of the Gewerbesteuer mystery for once. Hi, my name is Melchior from Contest Tax Consulting, and if you are self-employed, you might have asked yourself if you have to pay Gewerbesteuer. I create these videos and this whole channel aimed especially at solo self-employed, so freelancers and Gewerbetreibende. So this already is the most important question that you have to answer. Are you freelance or Gewerbetreibende? I've already recorded an in-depth video on this, which I'll link here at the top right corner. So if you're not sure whether you're actually a freelancer or a Gewerbetreibende, check that out first. Next thing for all freelancers, you can stop watching this video and use your time for something else. Because you definitely have nothing to do with Gewerbesteuer, because all freelancers are basically exempt from Gewerbesteuer and do not have to file a Gewerbesteuer tax return. With Gewerbetreibende, it's a bit more complicated because they are generally required to submit a tax return for Gewerbesteuer. This, however, does not necessarily mean that they also have to pay it. We will now take a detailed look at how exactly this works. What's interesting to know regarding Gewerbesteuer is that it belongs to the municipalities. This means that you pay your Gewerbesteuer to the municipality in which you have registered your company. For self-employed people, this would be their home address. That means that you have a private address and a business address and then pay the Gewerbesteuer there. However, if you live somewhere other than where you work, you always pay the Gewerbesteuer where your business is registered. And this is interesting because, for example, you don't get the Gewerbesteuer assessment from the tax office and you do not transfer the Gewerbesteuer advance payments to the tax office, but always to the municipalities. Here, however, I would like to add that some municipalities have outsourced all the administrative work involved in the Gewerbesteuer to the tax office. But in the vast majority of municipalities in Germany, you have to deal with your municipality and not with the tax office when it comes to the Gewerbesteuer. And that's interesting because the municipalities have an influence on how much tax you pay. That means that Gewerbesteuer is not the same everywhere in Germany, but it varies from municipality to municipality. As a rule, for example, you pay more in the big cities where the infrastructure is better. So if the connections and generally the location are better, you pay more Gewerbesteuer than, for example, Example, where it is a bit less developed. It can sometimes make sense for you to be registered in the countryside and pay the business tax there rather than in a large city where you have higher tax rates. Basically, you pay your Gewerbesteuer based on the profit of your business, i.e. your self-employment. This isn't like income tax where all types of income are added together. Only the income from the business really applies here. And then it's also important to note that there is an allowance. You can make 24,500 euros profit without paying Gewerbesteuer. This means that you can first deduct 24,500 euros from your business profits, and that's the basis with which you start to calculate the Gewerbesteuer. If you're below this limit, you do have to file a return, but you don't have to pay any taxes. To understand the whole calculation and the amount of Gewerbesteuer, let's take a look at it with the help of an example, in which we'll go through this calculation step by step. The decisive factor is always the Gewerbesteuer assessment amount. So you always need the assessment amount first, which you have to calculate, and once you have that, you multiply it by an assessment rate. And this assessment rate is exactly what varies from municipality to municipality. Your municipality might have a different assessment rate than, for example, the municipality where I work. And you multiply this tax assessment amount by the assessment rate of your municipality and that then results in the Gewerbesteuer that you actually have to pay. So let's assume that with my self-employment, with my commercial activity, I made a profit of 50,000 euros last year and that's the starting point. This is my profit for the time being. But from this, I can deduct the already mentioned tax-free amount of 24,500 euros on which I never have to pay taxes. And that results in 25,500 euros. This is my taxable income for the Gewerbesteuer. I multiply that by 3.5% and in my case that comes out at 892 euros and 50 cents. This is the Gewerbesteuer assessment amount which I then use for further calculations. You then multiply this assessment amount by the assessment rate of the municipality in which you are located. These assessment rates vary in Germany. They range from 200 to 500%. 
The legislator has allowed a range of what the municipalities are allowed to charge, and yes, you can expect 200 to 500 percent. There's a link to a website in the video description where you can find a list of all municipalities. There, you can also find your assessment rate to calculate the Gewerbesteuer. If we look at my example, I had a Gewerbesteuer assessment amount of 892 euros and 50 cents, and I'm located in Berlin. In Berlin, the assessment rate, at least this year in 2022, is 410%. And 892 euros and 50 cents times 410% is 3,659 euros and 25 cents. That is the Gewerbesteuer, which will then also be on my Gewerbesteuer assessment and which I have to pay to the municipality. Now that you know how much tax you have to pay, the question is, by when? And here, Gewerbesteuer is not really that different from income tax or Umsatzsteuer. So, the same deadlines apply to the tax return. I have already recorded a separate video specifically on the topic of deadlines for a tax return, which I'll link here in the top right corner. But just remember that you basically have seven months. If you file your Gewerbesteuer return yourself, you have to submit it by the end of July of the following year. You can do this, for example, using Elster Online or any other tax software. If you have a tax advisor or if you're a client of ours, then you have a tax advisor, you get more time. You then have 14 months. The Gewerbesteuer return must then always be submitted by the end of February of the year after next. So the return for 2021, for example, must be submitted by the end of February 2023. But similar to income tax, with the Gewerbesteuer, you have to make quarterly advance payments if your Gewerbesteuer liability exceeds a certain amount. Here, the deadlines are a little different. What you need to remember is February 15th, May 15th, August 15th, and November 15th. These are the respective dates for the advance payment of Gewerbesteuer. How much Gewerbesteuer you have to pay in advance is usually stated on your last Gewerbesteuer assessment. That's basically the most important thing you need to know about Gewerbesteuer. If you are a Gewerbetreibender and have watched the video until now, first of all, I'm personally very happy that you've stayed with us as long as you have. But maybe you're also thinking, wait a minute, that's really unfair. Freelancers don't have to pay any Gewerbesteuer at all, and I'm supposed to pay thousands of euros more in Gewerbesteuer Gewerbesteuer? That's really unfair. And yes, you're right, it is more work. However, in reality, the financial burden is lower. Because you can deduct the Gewerbesteuer from your income tax return up to four times the amount of the Gewerbesteuer. You can offset up to four times the Gewerbesteuer assessment amount, one to one, and simply pay less income tax. So you can say that freelancers don't pay Gewerbesteuer, but they do pay more income tax. Four times means 400%. The Gewerbesteuer assessment amount, let's remember, is the amount you calculated earlier. And then there's a municipal assessment rate and four times equals 400%. That means that if you live in a municipality where the assessment rate is not higher than 400%, you can offset the business tax one-to-one -one against your income tax liability. If, for example, you live in a municipality like I do in Berlin and the rate is at 410%, these 10% is what you actually have to pay in additional tax. Here's another important note. The four times Gewerbesteuer assessment amount was introduced during the COVID pandemic. Before that, it was 3.8%. I can't say whether it will remain at four times beyond the COVID crisis or whether it will go back to 3.8 times. So if you're watching the video and it's a little bit older, make sure to check if there has been an update and if it really still is at four times and not 3.8. And to conclude this video, I have another very special surprise for you. And that is that we have built an Excel tool, which we'll make available to you for free. You can find the link below this video. And with this Excel tool, you can not only calculate your Gewerbesteuer, but also how much of it is actually creditable against your income tax. Please keep in mind though, you have to duplicate this document before you try to edit it. You have read-only access, and if you duplicate it, it will still work and you can enter your numbers and I can still make sure that the calculation is correct and not everyone on the internet can see your numbers. But let's take a look at the whole example of what we've already calculated in this video using this tool. We see at the very top is the business address. 
This is about the municipality. Hamburg is registered here and has a Gewerbesteuer collection rate of 470% in 2022. However, I live in Berlin. That means that I enter Berlin here. This is really about the municipality. There are a few municipalities that have relatively similar names. I'm really talking about Berlin, however the city in Germany. I enter Berlin here and it automatically updates the Gewerbesteuer collection amount. We have added a database in the background that always automatically inserts the correct collection amount. And then I just have to enter the profit from my activity here. The 50,000 euros is exactly the example we were talking about before. From that, I can subtract the 24,500 euros, we did that earlier as well, arriving at 25,500 euros. Then I multiply that by the Gewerbesteuer rate, which is 3.5%, and this is the result in the assessment amount of 892 euros and 50 cents, which we also calculated earlier, and that means a Gewerbesteuer of 3,659 euros and 25 cents. The tool does that automatically, so you can simply enter your numbers. What is still interesting here is that the tool now of course automatically calculates how much of this I can deduct in my income tax return and thus also calculates the actual burden. And in this case, it's four times the Gewerbesteuer assessment amount, which is 3,570 euros, and the actual burden of the Gewerbesteuer is only 89 euros and 25 cents. So that's not actually that much. But this is what I would be paying less if I were a freelancer. Just to show you another example, this time I'll type in Hamburg, because Hamburg has a higher rate of assessment of 470%. If I now enter Hamburg here, I should write that correctly, of course, there is the 470% and you see that in the end I have to pay more Gewerbesteuer and in fact I am actually charged more because I can only apply four times the Gewerbesteuer assessment amount. Here the actual burden would then be 624 euros and 75 cents. I hope that this video has given you a good overview over the whole Gewerbesteuer topic and that you now know roughly how this can be calculated and how much you actually have to pay. I know the whole thing can be pretty confusing and also pretty dry. I hope it wasn't too bad. If you're like, gee, I don't want anything to do with that at all in my day-to-day -day life, why don't you just hand it over to a tax consultant like us? We are specialized online tax consultants for freelancers and self-employed people and deal with Gewerbesteuer every day. If you don't feel like doing all that and you don't feel all that capable in this area, why not take a look at our services? I'll put the link here. Also, have a look at our online community. I'll explain exactly what that is in this video or check out our other videos such as this one.